Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Cece. I am in beautiful Tennessee right now. Uh, we came this week specifically for the blackberry. So last time we were here, uh, we discovered that there are thousands of blackberry bushes on our property and my next door neighbor told me that they would be ripe this week of July. So I made sure we got back out here so I could pick them. I was a little worried that the deer or the birds might have taken care of all of the berries before we got here, but there are loads. Um, the bushes are heavy and falling over with them, so I'm so excited. The only thing I wish was different is I wish I had a berry picking basket. I want to pretend I'm like Anne of Green Gables when I'm out here, and I want, you know, a cute basket with a ribbon on it or something, and all I have is this colander. I didn't think to pack something specific to collect berries in, and this is what I had at the house, so I have just come out and started picking some berries. I thought I would uh, show you guys as part of the like homesteading uh, thing that I'm also doing on this channel besides firearms. So yeah, let me show you what it's looking like out here. So here is a couple. Um, as you can see, they're not all ripe. My neighbor said they will just continue to get ripe uh, through the next few weeks, uh, but there's still plenty of um, ripe ones, black ones, they're everywhere. I can't take a few steps without hitting these bushes. I am just so thrilled. I mean, seriously, how good do these look? And they are tasty. Uh, I was out here the other day eating some of them. Uh, but yeah, they are literally everywhere. So I'm gonna get to picking some of these and I will check in later. Maybe I'll do like a day in the life um, in Tennessee kind of video with this. I'm not really sure where I'm going. I just started filming. Uh, so yeah, I'm gonna pick some of these and I'll check in later. I gotta be careful while I'm out here because of the bull. Um, keeping my eye on the herd, where they're at. They're, it looks like they're all in the barn at the moment and I hope they stay there for a while so I can get a lot more of these berries picked. But if they come out, they will probably come up this way because you can see this is like their trail. They like to be around the pond. And uh, they're mostly nice, but I have to be careful. So I keep checking on them every 30 seconds. Also have to be careful of copperheads out here. Uh, my neighbor was warning me that if I'm picking berries and I start to smell cucumbers, uh, there's probably a copperhead under the bush. And I've never heard that before. We have lots of copperheads in Virginia. I've had um, experiences with them there but i've never heard that about cucumbers so he might have been joking with me my neighbor's 83 years old and he is a smart ass so <laughs> um yeah i don't know if that's true or not if it is if you know let me know um in the comments but i'm gonna get back to berry picking it is just so exciting that i have all of this food here all of these you know yummy berries that i didn't have to do anything for i didn't have to you know, plant seeds or tend the garden. I didn't have to get rid of bugs. They just grew. They just took care of business all by themselves. And that makes it a million times better. I mean, this whole row, do you guys remember? Well, if you guys remember in my um, property tour, I came up this trail and I was talking about how there was bushes everywhere. This is what they look like now. Oh, it's like heaven. Okay, I think I'm gonna call it a day. It is sweltering out here. It is so hot and sticky and humid. And I am all cut up from walking past these bushes and sticking my hands in them. My observations for next time I pick berries is to wear gloves <laughs> because my hands are tore up. Also, I wish I was filming this. It would have been hilarious. I literally just slid on my butt all the way down a cow trail. <laughs> And by the grace of God, I did not hit a patty, uh, but it was quite spectacular. I'm wearing the wrong shoes for this. I'm wearing uh, rubber rain boots because it had rained and I thought, oh, well, it'll be like wet and slippery or whatever. I'll wear my rain boots. Plus, they'll protect my legs from all the, the thorns from the bushes. But they are not great on walking on these trails. So yeah, my foot went out from under me. My butt hit the ground and it was like a slip and slide down the trail. It was awesome. So anyway, I am going to uh, get these berries inside and then I think I'm gonna check on the chickens. Oh, the cows are coming out of the barn. 
now I don't think I can go the direction I was gonna go. I gotta find a new way out of here. It's kind of a maze because it's overgrown in the areas where the cows aren't making trails. So it's not very easy to get through. And then with all the blackberry bushes, oh no. Okay, I will see you guys later. Came back from berry picking and my sweet old neighbor who I was just talking about has delivered a bunch of cucumbers and some giant zucchinis for me from his garden. Oh, I love zucchini. It's the best. I love baking zucchini bread. I'm so excited. Honestly, the people in Tennessee are the best. It is a little later. I have cooled off, come back outside. I just love being outside here. Thought I would show you an uh, update on the apples. Uh, they're growing, looking pretty good. Although the leaves have these spots on them. I'm wondering, do any of you guys know what these spots mean? It looks kind of diseased to me. I think there might be an issue with the apple tree. Uh, so I'm a bit concerned about that. I have no idea about trees, um, but the apples look good. So that's exciting. I would take you along to show you the chickens. Did I talk about the chickens? I think I showed you guys the chickens in um, the property video, but we've been here for a few days and I haven't been down to the coop yet to see what's going on in there. Um, there were little baby chicks in there last time, so I guess they're growing, uh, but we're gonna see them together. All right, um, let's go on in and check it out. Hello, babies. It looks to me like there's some maybe Rhode Island Reds in here and maybe some Leghorns. The white ones, I think, are Leghorns. Um, I don't know about these black and white ones or these. Not sure what that is. Uh, I'm okay with my chicken breeds, but I'm not an expert. And over here we have, uh, there's two roosters in here. That is a big boy. Hello. Hello, sir. Hello. Look at you. Oh, I love them. They are so like regal looking. <laughs> They're gorgeous roosters. And uh, yeah, I'm pretty sure these are Rhode Island Reds or some kind of variation of that. Uh, I have a couple of those myself uh so yeah i think that's what they are looks like we got some eggs in the nesting boxes and yeah my uh reds lay brown eggs and there's brown eggs in there so that's probably what they are but yeah these <coughs> oh these roosters are so cool looking i love roosters even though uh they don't love me they chase me <laughs> well my roosters but uh maybe these are ones are nice <coughs> So yeah, everybody looks well out here. Uh, the farmer comes every evening and um, waters and feeds all the animals, the cows and the chickens and whatnot. So everyone looks well taken care of and happy. I just wanted to um, check on them, see what's going on in here. I am not sure what is going on for the rest of the day. Um, my husband's working, he works from home, so he's working all day. And, and I guess we will probably go out for dinner later, uh, but if anything interesting happens, I will check in. All right, guys, it's the next day. I didn't end up filming anymore uh, last night. We did go to dinner. We went to an Italian place that we haven't been to before. Every time we come out here, we're trying like all the different restaurants. Um, so yeah, that's what we did last night and I was tired. I spent a lot of time out in the sun yesterday and it wore me out because it's quite humid here. Um, but today I'm going shopping. I wanted to get out in town. There's some boutique clothing stores uh, that I've been seeing and I haven't been in a boutique, I don't think. I never shop in like fancy places. So I thought I would just try them out and see what's in there. And uh, I'm going in Joanne's, Joanne Fabric store. Um, I got a new sewing machine. My old sewing machine was breaking constantly, it was giving me all these issues. So it was really hard for me to uh, continue sewing the Enigma belt covers um, that I got a new machine. So I'm gonna go in Joanne Fabrics and see what kind of cool fabrics they have in there. Maybe pick some stuff up to start making some belt covers again. Uh, so yeah, that's my plans for today. 
I think I will take you around with me a little bit. I'm currently wearing, and you can't tell because like I'm um, covered up, but I have my um, 365 on with my Enigma Express. I'm wearing it in some uh, linen pants and I got a tank top on. So that's my outfit for today. Uh, but yeah, I'm gonna get inside and see what kind of damage I can do. All right, I am done in Joann's and I got some really cute fabrics for fall. Uh, once 4th of July is over, I am in fall mode. Uh, my birthday is actually the first day of autumn and so I am a fall baby love everything about it and I cannot wait for the cooler weather and all the things. Um, so yeah, I want to make some of the belt covers with fall patterns and so I got some cute fabric. I'm going to show you really quick what I got. Um, I won't talk about it too much. I'll just give you a little sneak peek. So here's what I got. I got some mushrooms, some pumpkins, some fall leaves. This one is really pretty. I love these bright colors. Some cotton candy and this is a different type of fabric with pumpkins. And I'm gonna go hit some boutiques and yeah I'm gonna get off here. Good morning. Uh, it's the next day. I ended up going to some boutiques yesterday, walking around uh, downtown. It was okay. I think I'm just not really a boutique -y type of person. Uh, the clothes are pretty fancy and expensive. Um, so not really my thing, but I had fun uh, trying on some outfits. Didn't get anything. No, that's not true. I did get a little pair of earrings because um, I do want to support the local businesses, but it's just so pricey. So I am back out today to pick some more berries. We're gonna leave here tomorrow and I wanna get as many berries as I can while we're here. Uh, so that's what I'm doing. I don't know where the cows are. I haven't seen them yet today. So I have to be very careful because I definitely don't wanna walk up on the bull. And then later tonight, we're actually taking my old neighbor and the lady he runs around with. That's what he calls her. <laughs> His wife passed away many years ago um, and he has a girlfriend, sweet lady. Um, so we're gonna take them out to dinner tonight. So that's the plans. I'm gonna start picking berries and I'll check in later. All right, that is what I've got. So that's the size bowl. That's where I'm gonna stop. It's getting hot out and I'm getting all cut up. Also, I'm kind of trapped. <laughs> the farmer, I feel like every time we come out here, the farmer is moving the fences. And so the way I think I can go, I can't. i um, like constantly coming up against barbed wire fence. So I'm trapped. So I'm trying to figure out how to get out of here. Luckily, I haven't seen the cows the whole time I've been in here. I don't know where they are. They must be, I don't know. There's another pasture over that hill. You can't really see the hill, but... There's another pasture back there that they might be hanging out in. But yeah, there's like loose barbed wire everywhere. I feel like I'm going to get all tangled up in this. This is my luck. <laughs> I have terrible luck. Okay, I think if I just follow the wire, I can make it back to the barn. <laughs> so once I'm at the barn, I should be okay. I found them. They're at the barn. I didn't see them when I first came out. Um, but I don't think I've shown them in this video yet. So... Hi! Hi, pretty cow! Oh, who's the bestest cows? So, yeah, they're hanging out in there. The farmer did this, like, contraption. Like, set it up to, um, he feeds them in here. And so then he can trap them easier later for, you know, if he wants to take them to market or whatever. I don't know. They don't stay in here. They can get out. It's, it's open. But they'll come in here, I guess, to get their food and whatever. Somebody is going to the bathroom and it is so loud. Oh my goodness. But yeah, the cows are so cute. I love them so much. Hi guys. Are you going to come out and see me? Hello. Well, you have flies on you. Oh, poor thing. Hello. Hi cow. Oh my gosh. Look at this cow. It's so cute. It looks like Oreo cookies and cream. Oh, I love it. 
You guys all gonna come out now? All right, we'll see you later. Thank you.